What if I told you that the outcome of the Indo-Pak War of 1971 could have been different and that the decisions made in its aftermath shaped the future of the Indian subcontinent? Allow me to set the stage. The year was 1971, a turbulent time on the Indian subcontinent. The Indo-Pak War was in full swing, a conflict that would leave an indelible mark on the region's history. At the helm of India's ship of state was Indira Gandhi, a strong-willed and determined leader. She stood as the Prime Minister, the one with the power to steer India's course, the one with the authority to make decisions that could change the course of history. Gandhi was hailed as a world-class statesman, her actions during the war earning her a place in the annals of history. Her decisions during this period were pivotal, shaping not only the outcome of this intense conflict, but also the future trajectory of the Indian subcontinent. But was every decision made by Indira Gandhi for the best? Let's delve into some of the choices she made post-war. In 1972, India and Pakistan signed the Simla Pact, a treaty that was supposed to bring peace. But did it? Let's delve a bit deeper. The Simla Pact, signed under the leadership of Indira Gandhi, was a momentous decision that had far-reaching implications. However, not all of them were in India's favor. One of the most significant aspects of the pact was the surrender of captured Pakistani territory. Yes, that's right. Despite having the upper hand in the Indo-Pak War of 1971, India let go of the land it had rightfully won. It was a move that raised many eyebrows, and the reasons behind it remain a topic of debate even today. And it wasn't just the territories. India also released a staggering 93,000 prisoners of war. You might be wondering why. Well, the official reason was to foster goodwill and peace, but many saw it as a missed opportunity. The decision was seen as a generous treatment of the prisoners, with Indian soldiers even emptying barracks for their comfort. But the generosity didn't stop there. The prisoners were paid their salaries and given the option to fly their families from Pakistan. A move that was unprecedented in the annals of war history. Furthermore, Gandhi unilaterally declared peace on the Western Front and withdrew Indian forces. This allowed Pakistan to hold on to occupied territories in Kashmir, a decision that continues to be a point of contention between the two nations. So the question arises, did the Simla Pact truly serve India's interests? As the dust settled post-war, Indira Gandhi's decisions continued to shape India's future. But were they all beneficial? In the wake of victory, Gandhi's popularity soared, emboldening her to make some controversial moves. She declared a state of emergency in India, a decision that still sparks debates today. This move, seen by many as an attempt to consolidate power, led to the suspension of civil liberties and a clampdown on political dissent. In the same vein, she banned the Rashtriya Swayamsevak Sangh, or the RSS, a right-wing Hindu nationalist organization. This decision further polarized the nation along political lines, setting the stage for the tumultuous political climate we see in India today. Gandhi's influence didn't stop there. She introduced the 42nd Amendment to the Constitution, which included the word secular. This amendment was a clear departure from the original vision of the nation's founders and stirred up a hornet's nest of controversy that continues to buzz in the corridors of Indian politics. Another significant decision was a secret order to halt the granting of citizenship to refugees from East Bengal. This order, perhaps intended to control the influx of refugees, had far-reaching consequences, especially for those fleeing religious persecution. Furthermore, the Indian government, allegedly in collusion with the US, suppressed news of a genocide against Hindus in East Pakistan before the war. This act of censorship, many argue, was a grave injustice to the victims and a betrayal of the public's trust. Some hail Indira Gandhi as a world-class statesman, while others critique her decisions as blunders. What's your take? In the five minutes we've spent together, we've unraveled some of the complex decisions made in the aftermath of the Indo-Pak War of 1971. We've delved into Indira Gandhi's controversial choices, from the Simla Pact and its lack of reciprocity, 
to the overly generous treatment of Pakistani prisoners of war and the unilateral declaration of peace on the Western Front. We've also touched upon the domestic changes she spurred, including the declaration of emergency, the introduction of the 42nd Amendment and her stance on refugees from East Bengal. As we've seen, the echoes of these decisions still reverberate today. It's a reminder of how the past shapes the present and the present, the future. Until next time, keep questioning, keep exploring.